to Musings of the Fox. For this Holly Jolly tag, I have co-opted my husband into doing this with me because it's been like, I think this might be my 25th, no, 26th video. Darn. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And I thought it would be fun to do this with him. So, yeah. Too bad it's not 25. That would have been on brand for I Christmas. Know. I know. You miscounted. It's Boxing Day. It's the Boxing Day video. Okay, Boxing Day. It's video. going okay. up before Boxing Day, but you can save it for Boxing Day if that's what you want to do. So I was tagged by, of course, Vintage or Tacky to do this Holly Jolly tag, and I don't really know who else to tag. So you know, if you really want to do this, then I'm tagging you. Yes, you. I know you want to make this video. You're kind of having high, you know, but no one's showing you. I'm showing you out. Do the tag, it's fun, it's cute. We're all here to have a good time. Okay. Question number one is... Is, what is your favorite Christmas movie? <laughs> that would have to be Nightmare Before Christmas. That sounds like a cop-out, but it's really not. That's just my... I guess it used to be the Santa Claus, but okay. now that I've rewatched the Santa Claus... Doesn't hold up? No, and we watched <laughs> that one like video analysis of it, and it was just like... I don't know, all the adults kind of suck. <laughs> Yeah, so for me, it's Nightmare Before Christmas because it's just great. It takes you from Halloween into Christmas, and it's just like, you know, it's good for us goth kids. <laughs> What's your favorite? Mine has, like, I was going to say the Santa Claus because it's one of the only, like, Christmas movies I can remember growing up with. Mm -hmm. But then I actually thought about it, and I was like, there's a way for me to give a man answer. <laughs> and that's, uh, now it's become Joyeux Noël. Oh, which is mm -hmm. about Christmas truces in World War One, and it's kind of awesome. It's not a man answer, it's a Frenchman answer. They like to be sad on Christmas, and so the Frenchman likes a war movie. Well, it but it's like... actually a really beautiful movie. You don't have to be sad on Christmas, you can be sad year-round. Oh yeah, you can watch it any time. It's yeah. historical drama, so they... Oh no, I just mean be sad year-round. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> like, if you don't need three packs of cigarettes a day, you're not doing life right. <laughs> All right, let's get to question number two. All right, question number two. Are you on the naughty or nice list? Ooh. Your credit card, you're on the naughty list. <laughs> hey, a lot of those are presents for you on that credit card. Um, so I hear. I don't know. You know what? I worked really hard this year. I think I'm on the nice list. I, yeah. No, I've been real. Last year, I could, I could say I was on the nihilist, list, but this year, you know, I've been a very good girl this year, Santa. And so I would like my naked heat palette. <laughs> what about you, honey? Wait, was that a hint? No, I, I, I don't know where I fall because it's been. It's, it's, there has been a lot of things that have happened this year. <laughs> I don't know how to get I think we've from been you. nice about them. Not the best things have happened to know. us, it's, but we've been nice about them. It's not been the nicest year in that this one year has felt like 10 years. <laughs> and I'm a much older man than I was when I started the year. 2017 has aged us all, okay? 2017, <laughs> I went from 29 to 49. Okay. Question number three. Uh, show us an embarrassing Christmas photo. <laughs> we don't have you. any. Yeah, we don't have any. I mean, I don't know if it was that I grew up in like the early 90s when like cameras were pretty expensive and film was film and all that, but and maybe they just haven't held up well, but yeah, I don't have any. So I can try and throw in some embarrassing photos of him and I throughout Christmases, oh, but yeah, there's I don't... gotta be one of those. Like one where we look ugly and we've got like 10 chins. No, I think I have one where like I had like intense like under eye concealer that gave me like reverse raccoon eyes. So I'll just try and pop as many of those in here as I can. All right, question four. Question four, have you ever had a white Christmas? I'm not sure what they mean by that. I think they mean, have you ever had snow on Christmas? Oh. Uh, have you in France? Did you have any white Christmases? Processing, processing, processing. Uh, I don't think so. There was one, we, like, I was in France for four years. We only had snow one winter. Oh, that sucks. And the rest of the time I've lived in California where there's not a huge amount of snow. No. Right now there's fire. Yeah, we got a lot of there's fire. There's a fiery Christmas. Um, I guess there was like one Christmas in Santa Barbara where there was fire and so we had an ashy Christmas, but I don't think that's what that counts. Um, Are so, you dreaming of an ash Christmas? Yeah. Um, no, I think I visited the snow during the winter times when I was a kid. Um, but no, no white okay. Christmas. Have maybe. I've also done that, but I don't I don't know if that counts because it's never been on Christmas Christmas. Yeah, 
and someday we might live outside of California, maybe someday we'll. I would love just once to, maybe like it has to be planned to go out of town for Christmas, except Christmas is big in our family, so we can't really do yeah, that. Yeah, we're never getting that. Yeah, I know. I can, we'd have I to can move dream. out of state. Yeah, and even then we'd have to come back. No, so. <laughs> they, can, they can come to us. Okay, back. no white Christmas is in our future, apparently. All right, question five. Uh, do you start your Christmas shopping on Black Friday or wait till the last minute? Last minute. We still, I, it is December 15th, and we have our besties presents. Uh, we have each other's presents. No, we don't even have presents. They're in transit. <laughs> well, they've been ordered. Um, each other's presents are ordered. And, yeah. So, yeah. No. no <laughs> um, my siblings, parents, cousins, that's all yet to be done. Sorry, guys. But you'll get something. It's, it's always last minute. But I've been talking about it since Black Friday. Like, yeah. We should get presents for so and so. We should get presents for so and so. I think every we even weekend. started talking about it in October, going like, "Hey, we should look out for some Black Friday deals," and we and we just didn't. You failed. Oops. They'll get presents, Kinda and that's what matters. They're thought of and Are given they things. Presents? I don't know. Like, I don't know. there's quite a few people on my naughty list. <laughs> Question six. Uh, six. Whoop! Oh, scrolled past it. Uh, if you could be in any Christmas movie, what would it be? <sighs> Well, I'm not picking my favorite one because that's World War One, and yeah. I don't need trench foot. No, um, hmm. you know, I, I guess I wouldn't mind being in. Um, hmm. I can't think of one that I would want to be in. I would actually mind being in Nightmare Before Christmas. Get spooky, scary toys for Christmas. That'd be freaking sweet. Um, well, no, no, that's just the one year, though. Like, every other year they get, like, nice, boring toys. Yeah. It's just the one year where Jack takes over. So 1993. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I wouldn't mind being the holiday. Not, I mean, we're already married and I already have each other, but I'll say Kate Winslet's English home for for Christmas. Or, or while, or, yeah. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take Kate Winslet's home in the holiday. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Right. You want to go to England? Let's hang in England. Yeah. I don't know. I've never been. Okay. But then you have to eat English food. Shepherd's pie. Yeah, but just shepherd's pie nonstop. Just don't I, ever cook I again. Have more than one no, dish. No. Question seven. Uh, there is no seven. It what? actually it legit goes six to eight. Oops. Good job, Cora. Oops. Uh, name all of Santa's reindeer. Um, Rudolph, Donner. Interchangeable, interchangeable, interchangeable. How many times? Donner, you Blitzen, Vixen, Prancer, Dancer, yeah. Comet, Cupid, Rudolph. Yeah. Blitzen? Do I hear Blitzen? I don't know. I That's know. Vixen's problem. all that matters. You, you went Shout in a out weird to my order. fellow foxes. No. <laughs> you, you went in a weird order that's not the traditional one, so your cadence was. I don't know funny. the song well enough. So, question nine. Nine. What, when does your family put up the Christmas tree and who decorates it? We put it up when we get it. And yeah, this behind us is actually our first tree together. We've been together nine and a half years, and this is our first time having a tree. Because usually we lived somewhere else and came home to my mom's house for the holidays. And she did a tree for many moons. Yeah, she did a tree for a while. Then she got tired of having a tree and we have a cat. And she didn't want to deal with our cat and a tree. And so... I don't blame her. <laughs> so this year we decided, since we have our place for the holidays, that we want our own tree. And the cat gives no poops about the tree. Not really right. interested. Curious about the water dish she can't drink out of. Um... <laughs> but um so yeah so we got our tree about a week ago and we decorated it with Cora and Mikey and yeah well, they mostly let us do it ourselves because it was our first tree but um they helped like yeah. make the ornaments and they got us our awesome tree topper um which I'm is, just to talk about a later question I don't know Maybe. if he is I'll bring him in frame <laughs> when we get to the tree topper question but um so yeah so we're, we're doing it ourselves I mean we like it that way that was fun yeah all right, number 10. Mm -hmm. Is the tree real or fake? It is real. We paid good money for our little tree. It's I never knew real. Trees are so expensive. Yeah, trees are trees. Trees are not for the faint of heart. Maybe if you can cut it down yourself, it's a lot better. But if you're trying to get a tree in the Bay Area, yeah, yeah if you have someone's problems. property you can trespass on and go and steal it, don't do that <laughs> because it's not legal. No, but yeah, no, it's real. It's actually funny. My mom is Jewish. 
but she had she's the one who was like the big tree person when I was growing up. And when I told her that Joel and I were gonna get our first tree, she's like, it's gonna be real, right? I didn't know a Jew could be so obsessed about, about like tree. about proper real Christmas trees. But yep, it's real. I'm terrified. I'm, it's my first time feeding and watering a tree myself. It's not really drinking as much water as the internet tells me a tree should drink. But I keep doing the needle test and so far it's fine. So it just needs to get to like January 3rd and I'll be happy. Yeah, I keep feeling like we're gonna come home to an, a, to like a building that's flames. Yeah, well we were smart that's and got LED terrifying. lights so there's no heat. Well, there's not no heat, there's just not enough. There's no heat. Question 11 is... There's not a list, there's not. Oh, there's no, and now we're missing question 11. <laughs> uh, 12. Peeking at gifts or be surprised? Be surprised. I love surprises. Like, I really love them, and very few people manage to pull them off for me. So many people kind of just cave and go, what do you want? And I'm not someone who really wants, really. I don't think I'm someone who goes, like, like covet something. I like presents. No, you're a pain in the ass to shop Yeah, for. no, I like whatever makes people think of me. Um, I just, I like to be thought of. I like, it's something, you know, someone's walking on the street and they see it and they go, that's Gabrielle. That's kind of the present I like. Um, so I love being surprised. Yeah, Christmas is like the worst holiday because I get you stuff year round and I'm like, shit, what do I get you for Christmas now? <laughs> yeah. I got you the things you wanted. Yeah, we're a very gifty all the time couple. We like to give each other treats year round. So yeah, like. So there's no presents under the tree right now. Yeah. Right now. So our bigger thing is like, um, birthdays and anniversaries to do things versus presents. So for like the holidays, it's usually like one kind of biggish present. Um, this year, yeah, no, this year he wanted something really badly, so he did that, and then I came up with a surprise on the side, but he knew really what he wanted, so he's getting that yeah. and a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so torn. I hate surprises, but I like being surprised. Mm -hmm. So I will probably spend from here till Christmas trying to figure out what it is, but be disappointed if I can figure out what it is because yeah. I don't want to figure it out. I'm the same I way. Like surprises. Yeah, I always try and guess, but, but I, I don't. Mm -hmm. I love them, but I hate them. Uh, show us your ugly Christmas sweater if you have one. Ha, ah, joke's on you, don't have one. Yeah, I, I get that people like them, and I would love one of the sweaters that has lights in them. They're just really hard to care for, because then you have to, like, undo the lights to wash it. We have, like, cute little, like, Joel's wearing, like, a, a stitch in a stocking shirt, and he got me one with Totoro, and we got our friend Mikey, oh yeah, that's my Totoro <laughs> one, and we got our friend Mikey an R2-D2 one, so I guess those are, like, the closest we come to, like, Tacky, cutesy Christmas stuff. Tacky, I'll give you, but not ugly. It's cute. No. What question are we on? 14? I think so. If you could be under the mistletoe with anyone, who would it be? Don't have any mistletoe, but I'll take any chance to kiss him. <laughs> well, I don't think we should stick anything in the ceiling. No, I don't really want to. The them. walls are pretty soft. I'm willing I think, to bet the ceiling is mistletoe like cheap poisonous? Or, I don't know. I don't really I don't feel well, no. No, the tradition is not to eat the mistletoe. Yeah, we have a cat who falls and he eats it. Oh, uh, fair. I was going to be like, you're smart enough not to eat mistletoe, honey. You went to college. Uh, any question 15. <laughs> uh, does your family have a special holiday recipe you uh, you like to help make? Well, you made the eggnog for the first yes. time this year. Um, I don't usually like to help make it because it terrifies me. Um, my mom, since like the 70s, has been making um, a real eggnog, like raw egg eggnog recipe um, from like a Fanny Farmer's cookbook of my grandmother's from the 50s. Like it's still old, like brown pages crumbling. It's in like four pieces. And this year um, I made it for a friends miss Friendsgiving um, party we went to and it was a big hit. And so now I feel pretty great about making this eggnog. So yeah, it's it's delicious. I work for the health department. Don't need to tell me in the comments how scary eggs are. I gotcha. It's still delicious. Well, I know. Oh, if you, you my my frequent watchers know if you hear that noise, that's Tucker. That's our kitty. I don't know if he'll make an appearance right now. He's fighting. No, he's got Rocky. Yeah, he's fighting with his best friend Raccoon under the coffee table. So. Just heads up, the weird. You've clarified in the past as a stuffed raccoon, right? We don't have like a cat and a raccoon actually duking it no, out. No, no, no. We just have a main cat. Please take Rocky in the other room. Thank, Thank you. you. There you go. <laughs> we'll see how long this we lasts. We even got your little Krampus for Christmas. Yeah. Uh, number sixteen. Are you a pro present wrapper or do you fail miserably? Um, we worked retail for three winters, so, so we're we okay are. At it. <laughs> 
Well, I won the fast wrapping competition at our holiday meetings, so I'm pretty pro. Except, um, having a cat for the last eight years, um, he likes to sit in, like, if you spread out anything, he will sit himself in it. So it's, it's become like a full contact sport to wrap anything with this guy around, so. But I say we're pretty good. Yeah, we used to have to wrap for strangers. That I made some horrible face. Why? Because you were like, we're pro president rappers, and I was like... Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> he makes face. I don't know, I feel like I... I get like really perfectionist with the wrapping, so I'm like aligning things, and then it comes out okay. <laughs> you know, there's actually some paper that has like a grid on the underside. I know, mm -hmm. but you know tough. what? Like the process of present wrapping is evil, mm -hmm. and like you can try to line it up, draw a diagram, and it's like. <laughs> Have you ever gone Christmas caroling? Not with my singing voice. Uh, no, um, I. Used to be part of my dad's band in middle school and I helped out in high school and college and they did like band caroling where they would go to the main like street in our town that does like the big lights for Christmas and they play carols and sometimes I would horribly sing along. So that's about the closest I ever got to caroling. I played the clarinet and then later on sing along sang. with the clarinet. No, that's in later years. Oh. I sang along while they played. Like there's a video, like my first ever ever video I uploaded to YouTube is them on Thompson Street oh, okay. and me singing along like you know what I for you guys for a Hanukkah Christmas present I'll put the link to that video in the description box so you guys can enjoy that <laughs> what tops your tree well we tried to have it be the beast uh, Christmas ornament but he's not a traditional tree topper, he's a hanging ornament. And now I have the cat and I was gonna show it to you guys. Um, no, I'll have to tough. like, I'll have to- You'll I'll, insert a picture or something. I'll insert some footage here now. Um, this was a housewarming present for our new place um, from Cora of Tacky and her husband Mikey. Um, Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Disney movie. I love it to death. We've joked many times that Joel is the beast. So, <laughs> so our, our ornament is the beast in a bathtub and it's pretty fantastic. Thank you guys, we awesome. really, really love it. 19, do you make New Year's resolutions? Do you stick to them? You know what? Last year I did. I made the resolution to start this channel. And now as of this recording, I have like 1,054 subscribers and this is my 26th video. So I'd say I did pretty well for once. I, you know, it, I didn't launch till May, but I was making content, you know, through the early year. And so, yeah, I'm really proud of myself. It was my big challenge to do this year and I started it and I'm in love with it and I love you guys so yeah so I don't know if I'm making one for next year because this one's a pretty hard one to beat but uh we'll see <laughs> what about you Ben? I resolve to do things all the time and yeah. always f uh, fall through on them so it's like so new year's resolutions they're they're the same thing to me as any other resolution like I'm gonna resolve to like maybe do the dishes in a timely manner. It doesn't happen. Yeah. It's like I, I, I fail at those. Uh, it's just saying. <laughs> What's your favorite Christmas tradition? My favorite Christmas tradition is when we get hot chocolate and Joel grabs a bag of mini marshmallows, so we put marshmallows in our hot chocolate, and we go to Thompson Street in Alameda, California. I put Christmas carols or Christmas songs on my phone on Spotify in my pocket, and we walk around and have our own little night of looking at all the Christmas lights because it's a street that Every house, if you buy a house on the street, you have to light up for the holidays. But yeah, that's one of my favorite things, and we just like cutesy handhold down the street with our Christmas music and our hot cocoa. I like that one. Yeah, that's a good one. My yeah. favorite's getting a day off of work. Yeah. That's a tradition a... that we should keep forever. But only that's only on Monday this year. We have to go back the next day. I don't care. It's a day off. It's one day off. The, like, my favorite Christmas tradition is that we don't work. <laughs> and we get Christmas. paid not to work. Yes. High five for government jobs. Yeah, <laughs> so much better than retail. Retail was the devil. Yeah, retail sucks. Shout out to all my retail homies. We I feel for you. I'm so sorry. It gets Feels. better. <laughs> you have been granted one Christmas wish. What will it be? A house in a desirable location. <laughs> And the millennial dream, a house. Yeah, no, honestly, if that's, um, that's a little selfish. But yeah, 
honestly, earnestly, I want a house um, in a less self-focused one. If it wasn't like a genie kind of wish, um, I would really like if I could just get like a week of peace in the world. Just like know like all the bad people just take a week off from their crap and just stay home and like self-loathe and just leave all the good innocent people alone. That would be great. I would just like a week of just like things going nicely. Just just nicely for everyone on the planet. That would be pretty great. You I can't tell that. <laughs> He'll wish for the house. I'll wish for the peace on earth. There you go. Compromise. That'll be good. Um, let's do, um, a shout out to the fact that we are two Jews who are doing a Christmas tag, and so we want to wish a happy Hanukkah to all our fellow Jews, and happy holidays to everyone else who is celebrating whatever makes them happy. If you're celebrating nothing at all, we wish you a happy that too. So, yep, that's it from me and the mister. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you have liked, subscribed, and yeah, leave us a comment down below about what you guys are doing for the holidays, and what your favorite tradition is. I will see you guys next time. Next week is a makeup tutorial with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prison Palette, which is so much better than subculture and better than any of the reviews I've seen or saying. So yeah, check that out next week. See you guys next time.